Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Brown. Today we're going to take a look at the Poisson distribution. This is still a discrete probability distribution where we're looking for a specific value, but it's a little bit different from the binomial or the hypergeometric in that we're looking for the probability of an occurrence within a given time interval. So a little bit different. So let me offer quickly a bit of an embarrassing story that might illustrate this point where we've used this. In one of my first years of teaching, I was asked to teach an economics class in a building that I was very unfamiliar with. And throughout this class, I would give the students some kind of a problem that they had to crunch through that sometimes took five or ten minutes. So I'd use this opportunity to use the restroom right across the hall. Unfortunately, it was about the middle of the semester that I realized this was not a men's restroom, but a women's restroom. By the grace of God, no woman ever walked into that restroom while I was in there. And I'm quite thankful for that. And I'm guessing that there is a very high probability that someone should have come in while I was in there. So I might ask the question, what's the probability of no one coming into this restroom over this, this time interval, uh, the, the couple of minutes that I would be in there to use the restroom? Uh, I'm not sure what that answer would be, but I'm very fortunate that that never actually occurred. But this question, trying to answer that question, would be a Poisson probability distribution question. If I might say, what's the probability? Zero, or at least one, or two, or whatever that might be. I'm still looking at a discrete value, and I'm looking at the probability of that. So let me offer a, a, a better example, perhaps. Let's imagine this receptionist desk. And at this desk, it's typical to receive about four call, phone calls coming in every 10 minutes. That's the average rate of phone calls received. Now let's imagine that the person working at this desk has to step away for about five minutes for whatever reason, using the restroom or a quick meeting, make a phone call, whatever that might be. But they're concerned. They want to make sure that they don't miss an incoming call during this time that they're gone. Being a statistically minded uh, individual, they uh, bust out a pen and paper in their calculator in order to perform a Poisson probability distribution because they want to know the probability of not receiving any calls within a five minute period. So the occurrence, or, or the non-occurrence for this matter, sounds a little counterintuitive, but it is an occurrence. It's an occurrence of zero. What's the probability of no phone calls coming in, this occurrence, within this given five minute time interval? So to solve for this, we've got a new problem, and it's even easier than the binomial because we only have to identify two different variables. Our x variable, our f of x variable, and then we need to find our mean variable. In this case, this is the mean number of occurrences within this particular interval. This value here is actually similar to pi. It's a mathematical constant, and it just simply represents the 2.71828. Alright, so let's fill in the blank here. Our x value, our f of x, we're looking for a value of zero. What's the probability of zero phone calls coming in over this period of time? Now, the mean number of occurrences within this time, we need to think a little more carefully about. If we get a rate of four calls every 10 minutes, but we're going to be gone for a five minute period, then we're looking at a rate of two calls every five minutes. So in this case, we would just simply write two because our time interval is five minutes, so we want to measure out the mean number uh, of occurrences within the time period we're interested in. Now we just simply plug and chug. All right, so we've got two raised to the x, and then we're multiplying that by the 2.71828, and then that is raised to the negative two, our negative mean, and then we take x factorial which is zero factorial. So let's solve for the numerator. Two raised to the value of zero is just going to be one. And then if we take the 2.71828 and we're raising that to the value of negative two, that's one times 0.14. So we basically know that the numerator is 0.14. And if we divide by zero factorial, zero factorial is actually one. So 0.14 divided by 1 is 0.14. So what does this actually mean? 
This is, as I said in another video, the most important part of statistics when you get that answer, interpreting what it means. So, should this receptionist uh, step away if they're very concerned about a phone call coming in? Well, if they are really concerned about that, then they probably might want to wait until a break or something like that or someone else to take their place to do it because what this means is there's a 14% chance of receiving no phone calls within this time interval. Actually, another way of thinking about this is there's an 86% chance of receiving at least one phone call within this five minute time interval given the fact that the rate is about four calls every 10 minutes. So it's probably not in this receptionist's best interest to try to leave the desk for five minutes if they're concerned about a call coming in during this time period. So again, this is an example of a Poisson probability distribution. Thanks so much.